I've been in all the negotiations with the police for the last few weeks and we've been told time and again that we couldn't march. And don't ever think that this means nothing that we have won this victory today. Because we have had to fight for the right to demonstrate. In 2003, they told us we couldn't march in Hyde Park because we would damage the grass. And we had to defeat the government over that. When George Bush came to London, we were told we couldn't demonstrate anywhere in central London because of security measures. And we had to defeat that. And this time, we were told that we would be preventing MPs going about their business. Well, the MPs have had three months holiday, they're coming back today, and as far as I'm concerned, I'd like to see every single one of them inside Parliament, because I'd like them to vote to bring the troops out of Iraq. That is what they should do if they want to reflect the opinion of the British people. And I'd like to say another thing to them. They have underestimated our movement every single time. They have thought they could draw a line under the war in Iraq. Let us say to them today, you are never going to draw a line under this war in Iraq until you bring the troops home. And we don't want the troops brought home to be sent to Afghanistan or to be sent to the Iranian border or so that we can back airstrikes against Iran. We want the troops home and we want to break with George Bush's murderous imperialist policy. Those are the demands that we want. And you know, we predicted there would be these bans on our demonstrations. We said, if you go to Afghanistan and Iraq and you shoot people and you torture people and you kill people, what we've done to them will then be done to us. And this is what we're seeing now in London. We're seeing the methods of crowd control, the methods of restricting civil liberties are now brought to the heart of Britain because of this war. Why do we have all the restrictions outside Parliament except to protect a load of people who voted for war and will not admit that they were wrong? And we have to reverse these policies. We have to defend civil liberties. They used a law which was passed in 1839 at the time of the Chartists. They used the law to try to restrict us. They have been passing laws against demonstrators for hundreds of years. And I was asked on the radio this morning, would you be willing to go to prison to break this law? And I said, I wouldn't be willing to go to prison, but I've suffered much less than the people who fought for the vote and the people who fought for trade unions and all the people who defended civil liberties for hundreds of years. So if necessary, yes, I would be prepared to go to prison in order to defend our right to march. Now today, we hope that won't be necessary. We have an agreement with the police. But let's put the police and Gordon Brown on notice. Our movement is continuing. We are opposed to a continuation of the war in Afghanistan. And we will fight any attack on Iran. So keep the movement mobilized. Keep on the streets. And let's pull all the troops out now.